What's good, you guys? So on Twitter earlier today, I saw that Sam Hyde put up a million dollars to fight Dr. Disrespect, not in boxing, in a Muay Thai fight. Wow, the first influencer Muay Thai fight that I'm aware of. But of course, I saw this on Happy Punch. So it's coming from a not so reliable source, <coughs> Keemstar. But um, this would this is very interesting though. This is this did pique my interest, so I figured why not talk about this. And you, as you can see, even Tristan Tate is getting in on this. He's backing Doctor Disrespect and even going as far as being willing to train him. And remember, you guys, this is not boxing. This is Muay Thai. Those of you who don't know the rules of Muay Thai, you can kick. It's kickboxing. You can punch. You can kick. But you can. it's a lot more dangerous because you can knee and you can elbow. So it's really dangerous. Muay Thai is probably one of the most dangerous, most grueling sports out there. It's tough. And another thing about Muay Thai too is that you can throw your opponent to the ground which is actually a really good tactic used by Muay Thai fighters just to tire their opponent out. If you're constantly sweeping their legs, throwing them on the ground, and you have to keep getting up and up and up off the canvas, you're going to get tired. That tires you out. So I find it very interesting that they're going the Muay Thai route instead of boxing. And then I saw also that Sam Hyde wants to do this on a KSI card. What I'm guessing is he wants to hop on that KSI versus Tommy Fury card if it happens. Last time we checked... I saw KSI did post an update saying that things are moving along now. So, hey man, if I want to be mad if we saw this on a, as a co-main event to KSI versus Tommy Fury, it would be huge. So we've seen Sam Hyde in there before. I think even though Sam Hyde is going to come into this fight more experienced, I just think Dr. Disrespect can get the job done from what we've seen. Dr. Disrespect seems to have the better physique, seems to be in better shape. And Sam Hyde does get gassed in there, and he gasses quick. So I think Dr. Disrespect can get him out of there by TKO or KO, in my opinion. And this isn't boxing. This is Muay Thai. Muay Thai is much more grueling than boxing is. But of course, it's much more grueling in short term. Similar to like MMA, it's a sprint. This isn't a marathon like boxing is. This is a sprint. And it's going to be a sprint for these guys going to be a tough fight for both of them i would love to see eat these guys get tested especially in a muay thai fight man this will be the first time we see something like this i don't know if they'll put it on a misfits card but who knows man you know it's entertainment they're all about entertainment look what they're doing they're doing the tag team thing they're doing the survivor tag thing so maybe they'll allow it i'm not against it i don't hate it but i just don't know if this is really going on let me know what you guys think is this really happening are they serious? Is this something that is really going to happen? Is this really realistic? And if I'm not mistaken, Dr. Disrespect is really tall. Isn't he like, I'm pretty sure he's like 6'7 or 6'8, something crazy like that. So I know he's going to be sporting a big, big reach advantage. But while I'm wondering, I want to see these guys kick. <laughs> I want to see their kicks. I don't know if Sam Hyde's kicks are going to be too good. Dr. Disrespect's kicks probably aren't going to be too good either because there's only so much you can do with so much training. But I don't know. I'm interested. They they piqued my interest. I mean, we're talking about it. So, you know, whether this happens or not, they've definitely piqued my interest. And I would love to see this go down. But let me know what you guys think. And of course, this Saturday, we got the Kingpin Tournament Round 2 going on. So if you want to know what's going on live, I will be here for you guys. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Feel free to like the video if you like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.